Welcome to The Voice Over, everyone. I hope I'm coming to you crisp and clear today. Sometimes I listen back to these voiceovers, and it sounds like I recorded them on, like, a fucking Nintendo DS. Like, it it sounds like the quality of, like, you know, like, the that old-school popcorn, like the Orville Rennenbacher that sounded like an explosion each time it touched the pan? That's how some of these voiceovers sound. But anyway... Anyway, sorry, I'm on one today. But anyway, welcome to the video. This is Iron Factory Gym, Brookfield, Connecticut. Don't know the zip code, but we're here. I went here regularly about five years ago, and it's crazy to see how much better it's got, how much bigger and better it's got, uh, which is awesome. Unfortunately, the same thing cannot be said about me, but the gym is great. It's been a while since I've made one of these. Um, could it have been the infamous Salt Lake City Arby's incident? I'm trying to block that from my mind, but maybe that was the last time. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. It's good to see you again virtually. Speaking, before I go on and move on to the workout, speaking of Arby's, this gym is actually down the street from the only Arby's within like a, I'd say 30 or 40 mile radius of this general area. So uh, it's pretty sacred. Um, I was there at this particular Arby's when the inaugural beef brisket came out. And that, I believe, it was all the way back in like 2014. Um, if I'm getting my dates right, I'll I believe I took a picture. Watch this. You guys are going to get a kick out of this one. Look. Pretty empty gym. Look around. Oh, good lighting? Okay. <laughs> Look at... <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, my gosh. Like, turn the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. I really have no idea what I'm doing with these poses. But this one looks... That one looks pretty good. But, uh... Walk off. The walk of shame. Uh, like I was saying, I know this seems like a lot of uh, volume, but if you look at the weight stack on any of these exercises I'm doing, it's at like the fucking top one. Like I'm doing like 2.5 pounds. Look at this. This thing, like I found this in the back. This is like a 2.5 pound barbell. Um, so it's just, it's not very taxing on the body. It's rather easy to recover from. I really haven't been dealing with any sort of tendonitis or low back problems. Um, and while obviously I'm not going to be making any crazy strength gains, probably, I mean, I wouldn't say, at this point, I'm probably not going to be making any more, you know, crazy hypertrophy gains without a little extra help, if you know what I mean. But... With that being said, uh, you know, I can still train like this during the week and, you know, I'm still, I'm not crazy beat up by the weekend. If I want to play tennis, if I want to run, if I want to play golf, um, like if I was doing heavier training, sometimes I like to save that heavy training for the weekend, if you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. Big Lanny, you know what I mean. Cruising Dixie Highway. I see you. I see you cruising Dixie Highway late night on a Saturday with Sheila. I'll expose your ass. I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, got some more footage of a back workout uh, here at Iron Factory that I will post soon. But it is good to talk to you guys. Leave a comment. Let's get a little banter going in the comments. It's been too long. And I uh, always like to catch up with you. If there's any content you want to see, let me know. And with that being said, I'll see you on Pornhub. Take care, guys.